Greetings, unsettled souls! <laughs> Welcome to the Correct Views. I promised you guys once some kind of funding or something like it came in that you would be seeing and experiencing a better show. Uh, I do think that's what's slowly developing here. I am in the process of getting a better uh, camera set up. Uh, I might be taking calls in the future. This could be a little straighter, but yeah, let me get to it. While I'm doing so, let me remind your friends, make sure you're checking out the show on Opera News. Because a lot of the upgrades and the things, the, the booms that you've seen happening to this show, God bless them for what they've done and for uh, stepping up to help us. Friends, I want to get on to something here, and it's very, very important. Because I'm gonna fix this. Because I think it's very, very important uh, as it pertains to what we need to do in Afghanistan as things are now. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh god, here comes a bleeding heart liberal. If you're saying that, then you don't know anything about the show or anything about me. So please give me a moment. I don't think those who say that America has no responsibility here has actually thought the problem through because we did tromp into someone's country when, you know, and we needed to. We needed to take action after the Taliban did what they did to our country on the 9-11. On uh, for those of you that have ever listened to Mike Trevisano, <clears throat> remember the Banana Boat song? They had a parody at the time before we attacked Afghanistan. Oh, to the Taliban hand over bin Laden. It was really funny and really silly. And it was one of the only happy things I remember from that entire time period. So it stands out. We should have flattened the Taliban to the point where there wasn't so much as a camel turd left behind. And then we should have left. That's what Ron Paul was in favor of, and that's what more uh, intelligent minds were certainly in favor of, particularly those who have been students of history. Well, now that we've done what we've done, we hear people saying that we need to accept that all of these Afghans who are now displaced, who now have nowhere to go, that we have to believe that the humane thing to do is to bring them all into our country. No. Now, I'm not against giving aid. Let me tell you what I'm for before I tell you what I'm not for. I don't think it's a bad idea for uh, mission work to be done there. If you know, I don't think anybody should have to do it. It's certainly dangerous. But I see no problem with making sure that those who want to get out of there can get out of there, not with the military necessarily. Do we have no Peace Corps? I, I think they need to be taken care of if they were people who helped America. I think they need to be taken care of if they are non-Muslim religion, particularly Christian and Jewish. Yeah, they probably should be helped because they're going to be slaughtered there. And many of the groups that I've just named to you, they overlap. So, of course, there are Christians who helped us. There are Jews who were translators for France or something. Who knows? Here's what we don't want to do. And this is why you're going to want to hit share. I'm really, really asking people to share these videos. I, 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 can't, I can't possibly tell you how important that is, especially when you share them from operators. Here's what we don't want to do. We do not want to bring them to the West, to America. Let me explain why before you start saying how hateful and mean I am. God forbid something like that was to happen here in the United States. I don't want to be moved to Kabul. I don't want to be relocated to a culture that I know nothing of, have no interest in, and which is probably offensive to me. I don't want... Why, why would you move me to a country to which I have no cultural reference whatsoever? For instance, 
let's say someone moved, so there was a disaster in the U.S. and someone moves me to Canada. Okay, there's minor things I have to get used to. I may have to sharpen up on my French in some areas. I may have to uh, develop at least a mild knowledge of hockey in order to be able to have a conversation in a pub. I may want to go to some of the areas where electronic and industrial music were big uh, back in the day so that I could find some of the things that I was interested in. I know a lot about Niagara Falls. I know a lot about Ontario. Maybe head there. Or let's say I ended up in a really conservative area, someplace that was like, uh, you know, Utah. Okay. Tattoos and hey, I'm probably going to stand out a bit in Utah. But I have some kind of cultural reference. Now, let's play this another way. If you move me to Yemen, or if you move me to even a, a peaceful Islamic country, I'm not going to fit in. Yeah, it's better than being slaughtered here, like I said, if it was happening. It's better than being slaughtered here, but send them to other Muslim nations. And that's where I'm saying charity comes in, or uh, possibly the Peace Corps. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm not an expert on the Peace Corps. Uh, mission work, uh, that kind of thing. There's going to be money. There's going to be logistics. There's going to need to be at least private security firms getting these people out of the country and to other Muslim nations. Not to a society to which they know nothing about. Okay, do you know many of the people that don't fit in, they, they never wanted to fit in. They were, you know, I'm not talking about the ones who broke into these countries, which is common. I mean the ones who were just shipped and moved. Why? You wouldn't send me in a disaster to a Muslim nation. Because I have no cultural basis to reference it on. I'm not talking about those who have relocated by will. In many instances, those who have done so, they you see doctors from Iran or Iraq, I get it. But they had some idea, or at least wanted to have some idea, about the culture that they were going into. It was usually a willful move. It was not your country has been taken over by Taliban butchers. So we're going to send you to America where you think everything is great. And once you get here, you have no basis whatsoever of which to restructure your life on. I'm not against helping people. I'm against, I'm against creating huge problems in society. Sometimes the people we're helping that would create these problems aren't even meaning to, but there is no basis to which you can usually go from the culture in Afghanistan comfortably into the culture of the United States, particularly if you've just, you know, your family has only been freed for the last, what, 10, 15 years. Because it took, we've been there for 20 years, but it took America five years to even really, you know, a basis to where it's going to affect the culture there. So within the last 15 years, how are you going to explain to them a Marilyn Manson concert? How are you going, all of it, there's nothing to which they can rebuild their lives on. Jordan, the, maybe the United Arab Emirates. Some of the more peaceful Muslim nations need to be where these people are relocated to. And since America caused some of that problem, then America maybe should be responsible for moving those people to those nations. That is the correct view. Thanks for hitting subscribe. Thanks for hitting share. And as always, good night. God bless. Oh, and get a hold of me. Uh, the correct views at hotmail.com.